Welcome friends, uh, welcome to Tech Greens. Uh, today in the continuation to our series on Apache Hive interview questions, we look what is bucket join in the Hive. In the previous video, we observed what is map site join. Here we look uh, what is bucket join. So guys, let's start. Uh, um, Hive bucket join is the feature provided uh, which could be used when all the tables involved in the join are large and they are bucketed on the same join key. So whatever is the join key in all the tables involved in the join, the same key is used to do the bucketing of the tables. Also, the another prerequisite that we require for bucket join is that the number of buckets in uh, in all the tables involved in the join should be in the multiple of each other. Uh, what it means that if one table has two buckets and uh, then another tables could have a uh, number of buckets like two, four, six and so on. So it should be multiple of two. So if in case all these producing uh, preceding conditions are satisfied, then uh, we can apply the bucket join and what happens in bucket join that all the processing all the joining processing happens on the mapper side itself. So here in case of bucket join also, if if uh, the preceding conditions are met, then uh, there would be no shuffle or reducer phase and everything would happen in the mapper phase itself. Uh, it also implies that the that how this uh, bucket join works is the only the required buckets are fetched on the mapper side uh, during the join and uh, we save the cost on fetching the entire or complete table. So we only fetch the uh, bucket which is required in that particular mapper stage, right? So guys, uh, uh, let's try to reiterate once again that in bucket join, we need to met with uh, uh, with the two prerequisite. Once that all the tables should be large. Second, all the tables involved should be bucketed on the same key, which is the join key, how the tables are going to be joined. Uh, second important thing is that all the tables involved in the join uh, should have number of buckets in the multiple of each other. Like if one table has two buckets, another can have two, four, six, eight, etc. And as uh, it happens in the map side join as well, all the processing will happen in the mapper itself. And only the required bucket would be fetched into the specific mapper in the during the mapping stage which is uh, which saves us on the cost of fetching the complete or entire table so guys let's try to understand how it works uh, if you see uh, in terms of query syntax uh, the hints can be given in the similar way how we do in the map joins uh, and in this particular example we are joining three tables a b and c on the id a column uh, that means for map for uh, this uh, bucket join to happen all the tables a b and c should be bucketized by id and uh, their uh, bucket number should be multiple of each other so here in this example a has two buckets table a has two buckets like you can see a1 a2 table b has uh, two buckets and uh, table c has one bucket so if you see table one, this is we are depicting the mapping stage with table B, the first one. So if you see the mapper one, which is running the bucket P1 of table B. So here only the first bucket of the other two tables is fetched. If you see here A1 is the first bucket of uh, table A and C1 is the first bucket of table C. Similarly in mapper two for same bucket, we fetch the bucket a1 and C1 and in mapper 3 uh, this is also for bucket P1 here also it is A2 and C1 so if you see here only the required buckets are fetched into the specific mappers during the mapping stage uh, so what happens here is Onto each mapper, only the matching bucket of the smaller tables are replicated, and we do not fetch the complete table. So this saves us on the query 
performance also to enable the bucket map join we'll have to set the property uh, hive dot optimize dot bucket map join is equal to true so by default it is not in force so we'll have to set this property to true so that is how uh, bucket join internally works right only the specific buckets from the different tables involved in the join are replicated onto uh, onto specific mappers during the mapping stage so guys, let's try to understand what are the different use cases for bucket join obviously as we understood from the prerequisite that all the tables involved in the join should be large enough so that uh, the whole idea here is to save on the performance uh, performance runtime uh, second we can use uh, bucket join where all the tables are obviously there is a prerequisite as well when all the tables are bucketed on the same column which is the joining column as well and uh, also the third prerequisite uh, that we need to meet is that all the tables should have number of buckets which are multiple of each other right so once these three conditions are met then we can uh, then it's an eligible use case for the bucket join so guys uh, that's it in this bucket join have a good day bye bye